Health experts worry we could see an explosion of cases. Tonight News 8's Richard Allen has more on the new mutant strains that are emerging worldwide, as well as an alarming new report from Scripps Research. Well, that's right. This new study out of Scripps Research finds that one out of three people infected with coronavirus will never show any symptoms. We know that about half of all infections are caused by people who, when they spread the virus, actually have no symptoms at that moment. Daniel Oran is an author of this new report by the Scripps Research Translational Institute, warning that this absence of symptoms has been a huge driver of the pandemic. Especially with these new, more transmissible strains circulating, um, this really is, is a challenge. These COVID variants include the more contagious strain originating in Brazil, which has now been confirmed in an American traveler returning home from there to Minnesota, as well as the South African strain, which has not yet been detected in the U.S. Health officials say the vaccine may not be as effective against this more contagious variant. California also has its own homegrown strain, Cal-20C. Researchers say it's more contagious and it's now responsible for over 40% of all infections in Southern California. But the COVID variant originating in the United Kingdom, also known as B117, believed to be 50 to 70% more transmissible than the original strain, is the one causing greater concern here in San Diego County. But there is some emerging data that the B117 is more lethal, so we could expect even more deaths than we're seeing now for every case. Speaking before the County Board of Supervisors, UCSD infectious disease researcher Natasha Martin warned that the UK variant, with 87 confirmed cases countywide so far, is on track to become the dominant strain in San Diego in a matter of weeks, especially as restrictions are now beginning to loosen. I can't stress this enough. With the emergence of B117 and other strains, which may be more transmissible and potentially more lethal, now is the time to double down on reducing transmission and expanding vaccination. And we need to be extremely cautious about reopening and monitor the situation closely. And to reduce transmission, the CDC is now asking everyone to reduce their time in grocery stores, to double mask, and to continue social distancing as much as possible.